Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today in this video I will be showing you one of the room which, which I found on XDA uh, forum and that is uh, Aquari OS which is by one of the XDA developer Biron underscore the blue. So guys, this is a room which I will be showing you how to install and we will take a look at its features, what are the features available in this. As per their description, it says user friendly and uh, has a good battery backup and a very stable room. The, the main motive is to focus on the stability and the battery uh, backup of the device. So this room is basically for OnePlus 3 and uh, cannot be used on OnePlus 3T. If I get a link of OnePlus 3T, I will mention that link also in the description below. So to install this, make sure you guys have TWRP recovery installed and uh, just download the file from the description below. That is the main room file and the google app package so i'll show you the file which i have already downloaded i go to storage and in this i go to so this is the folder which i have named and in this i have the main room file and a google app package and i normally use pico app package so first what i what we have to do is we have to reboot a device to twrp recovery so i reboot my device to twrp recovery so once your device boots to TWRP recovery, just click on wipe and I recommend you to wipe complete system also excluding internal memory because uh, it may give you a few issues. Uh, also I recommend to take a backup of your device before flashing this room. So once I select all the partitions, I swipe to wipe and after this is done, I just go back and install the OS. So this is the OS guys, I just flash this file. And after that, I'll flash Google Apps. So the room has been successfully flashed. I just go back and install the Google App package. So after the room has been flashed successfully, we just reboot a device. So once your device boots up, we'll quickly complete the initial setup. So once the initial setup is complete, first option what you get is about Nova Launcher because Nova Launcher is pre-installed on this and you just do a, a setup of Nova Launcher and so now we have Nova Launcher installed on this. So we go to settings and check what are the things available here. So we move to settings and we go to about. So you can see the Android version is 7.1.2. The security patch is also the latest one that is June 5th, 2017. Kernel is based on Lineage OS. So after this is done, we just go back again and I'll show you guys few of the icons in the setting are missing like Google uh, uh, icon is missing from settings, navigation slider, screen of gesture, OnePlus doors mode. So few things are, uh, I think uh, there are bugs in this uh, room. Let's wait for the stable version. But the best part of this is uh, Substratum theme engine is pre-installed in this and even Magisk. So Magisk is uh, always a good option to root your device. So it is already available in this. We open Magisk and give permission. So, so I need to be connected to uh, internet. Uh, I have not connected. So this is the best thing. Uh, Magisk is pre-installed and Substratum theme engine is pre-installed in this. So you don't have to worry about the root access or anything else. If you guys want Substratum, it is pre-installed. And if you guys also want Magisk uh, Manager, and that is also pre-installed on this, and it is a updated one. So let's take a look at few uh, features which are available in this. So under settings, we have an option of aquatic treasures. In this, you have coral reef. So under Coral Reef, we'll open and see few options, uh, not few options, actually many customization options are available here. So if you guys want to have navigation bar uh, or the navigation keys uh, to be on your screen, you can enable this by using this option. Next, we have hardware keys option, hardware key option. We have disable navigation buttons. Under this, you have few options of backlight single tap action, long press action. So next we go to power menu under which you have options of uh, selecting what all the options you want if you are using power button. So if so, we'll just enable reboot, screenshot, screen record, flashlight, airplane mode. 
So these options can be used by uh, using a power button. Next, we go to volume rocker. You have volume rocker wake. So if you, if this option is enabled and a device screen is off, you can just use your volume key to uh, wake up the screen. And few more options under this uh, volume button swap. You can swap a volume button action when it is in landscape orientation. So these are the options available uh, under buttons. So next we go to lock screen. Under lock screen, you have uh, lock screen shortcuts center screen shortcut add center shortcuts on the lock screen shortcut long press so open custom lock screen shortcuts on long press so then next last you have lock screen shortcuts you can change the lock screen shortcuts from here so these are the options available in the lock screen next we go to quick settings and quick settings you have uh, quick setting tiles layout advanced quick setting easy mode vibrate on touch scroll small quick setting tiles quick setting tiles you also have a weather tile here weather service settings uh, condition icon pack is default or lock color you can select anything custom header image brightness slider brightness icon hide shortcut settings hide the edit icons so next we move to status bar under status bar you get options to change battery um, icon so here you can select anything if you want text you can select text and next you have a battery bar this one you can select battery bar location you can select a status bar or you can just hide it next you have career label clock settings you can customize your clock you can set accordingly and you also have an option for uh, network traffic you can just enable it uh, for your to get the option in the status bar about the download or the upload screen available so these are the options available and few more double tap to sleep uh, brightness control so next we move to display and under display you have notification light you can adjust the light of the notification accordingly battery light and in this wake on plug if you plug your charger or anything or your data cable the screen will wake up next you have general dashboard options power notification control and the last one we move to system and miscellaneous so in this you have a show memory bar so uh, and if you open recents you'll get a memory bar over here you can see 3817 mb of free ram is available in my on my device and under uh, system miscellaneous you have uh, an option of others in this you have head up toggle app set up without breaking system next you have animations and the last option is three finger gestures swipe three fingers to take a screenshot so this is uh, if you enable this you just have to swipe down with the three fingers it will take a screenshot over here so these are the options available in this guys so uh, in aquatic treasure you also have a stratum theme engine which can be directly uh, open from there so i just uh, go back here and you also have a Mag magisk manager so i just have to connect to my wi-fi or the data network uh, so that i will be able to use i'll use this roam and check and also i'll do a benchmark test which i'll be posting on my facebook page so if you guys want to check it out you can just move to my facebook page and have a look there so and that's all in this video guys uh, hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day